The chill depths of space, meteor showers, asteroids, canine astromut cutter likes nothing more than a bowl of lumpy chunks. Okay, that's a wrap. This commercial is in the can. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd visit my humble shop. It's truly an honor, sir. Eh? Please accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Nash? <laughs> not just this bone, no, sir. A hero like you can have anything in the shop. Yeah. <gasps> and in your honor. <laughs> my sausages I give to you, my chops to fill your face, my fillets fill your rumbling tum. Brave dog who's been to space. Oh, no, Asher, not you. Him. Please, sir, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. <laughs> Look out! Huh? The moon's coming! <laughs> School's out, Nasha! Time for a kickabout! Nash, Nash, Nash! Nah! Nash! It's a freebie! Everyone got one to celebrate Cutter's visit! <laughs> In honor of his amazing travels, Astromat Cutter will receive the Beano Town Collar of Honor later this afternoon. <laughs> 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 Apparently, Cutter is the greatest dog in the universe because he's been up in space. <laughs> Second best, maybe. He's nothing compared to you, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha? <laughs> Nasha! Awarding myself a medal. Ah. Hey, Garden. your laces are undone. Huh? Hmm. All the planets are aligned. Well, the moons at least. Go, Nasha! <laughs> huh? I've exposed my flank and I haven't been attacked. Something's definitely not right here. We've got an emergency. Look! <laughs> 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 Nasha's lost his menacing mojo. Oh, I'd hate to think of Paul lying around not up to his usual tricks. Oh. Uh, uh, we've got to find something to kickstart Nasha's menace hard drive. But what, Dennis? I mean, that's a pretty big hard drive. But it'll have to be something out of this world. <gasps> Curly, you are a genius. <laughs> T-P-Q! What? I thought we'd just say random letters. Are we not? 
Look, a text message from the space agency can NASA, Nasha, for you. Huh? It's an emergency situation. They need your help, Nasha. This is space. And this is a spaceship piloted by Cutter. You know he went to the moon, right? Nash, Nash. His mission was to bring back moon rocks, space dust and um, stuff like that. But Cutter left something behind. That's right. He left a half-eaten sausage in a moon crater. Huh? It was grabbed by the blurps. An alien race who can't believe we Earthlings throw away such treats as sausages. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The blurps are eyeing the Earth's vast sausage reserves. They're about to invade. There's only one dog brave enough and skillful enough to save the world's sausages. Nasha, you have to stop the blurps invading. I give you the Starship Enterprise. Huh? Planet Earth depends on you. Ready for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. NASA! Thrusters, Nasha. Spaceship <laughs> landed safely in the crater on planet Blurp. <laughs> the safety of the world is now down to you, Nasha. <laughs> Greetings. <sighs> I am Captain Blooper Luba of the Starship Destroy the Earth. The deadliest warship in the Blurp laser cannon attack fleet. <laughs> we want your bangers, salami, chorizo and hot dogs. Also, chipolatas, which are nice. <laughs> and them over now or face immediate sausage extermination. <laughs>
hot dogs, pizza, mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think that means poison, Pieface. Food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! I've got you now, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Celery soup! Get your cold celery soup! Ugh. Cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface. But one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Pick, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. Nasha <laughs> Nash. How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! <laughs> Aha! I have you now. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ant's DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. How big are they? Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, <laughs> a giant ant! Oh! Attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunchtime, I think. <laughs> What's what? Oh, no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make it angry. Nash, Nash! <laughs> 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 Result! Looks like your lunch is sorted, Nasha. Uh -huh. 
Huh? So, Dennis, what about our lunch? Thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Leah, been twenty years I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Mm, if only I could find something it ate. How about your paints? Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> 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 Nasha. And a pie's left, pie face. Um, I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, oh, blueberry for me. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody move. You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Uh oh, Nasha, run! Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! Target, getting away! Quick, Nasha! Out of that costume! <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> Let's go! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! <laughs> I don't understand! How did he find us? It must be the blueberry pies. That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA. That's how it's been tracking us. Pie face. I'm on it. <laughs> and we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? the day off school. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Nash. Oops. Nash. I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Well, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Mm. Let me guess. Blueberry. <laughs> 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 I 
of the world, he's got his face on it. Shh, it's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Now, Nasher! <laughs> For as long as I'm mayor, all skateboards are banned. Vote, Vote for Scrimp! Vote, Vote for Scrimp! <laughs> huh? He can't do that. He can't do that. Can he do that? He might think he can, but we won't let him get away with it. Um, Dennis, he has gotten away with it. Skateboards are banned as long as he's mayor. Yeah, but how long's that? We just have to make sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha-ha. <laughs> huh? Right. Time to make that waxwork work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. <laughs> Mmm, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Yeah. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Hi, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? Mess Crimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Uh, uh. <laughs> Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. Listen <laughs> now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, ah, my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> Under the sheet, lads. Uh, pie face, disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pose now. No, I can't. Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you would be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor. So, none of us will be voting for you. Yes! Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. Oh! 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 My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's ban on skateboards. 
Oh, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, I mean, heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Assistant uh, Junior Apprentice Parky Scream. Sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, our gear. Gone. Scream doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. Oh, you're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow <laughs> down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for menacing gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Time for Plan D and G. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> well, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> I'll just find something else to use. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. Ain't it hot? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favorite color. <laughs> Seventeen hundred and thirty hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Go. Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. Hang on, just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realize these bans are causing a few problems. A few? Without paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Wanna bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Let me go. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Chaos. No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of baby bees use nappies. <laughs> that does it. As of now, all forms of underwear are banned. What? Don't be ridiculous. We were better off with scrimp. Sergeant Slipper, do something. Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and Scrimp gets his old job back. All in favor? Yeah! Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. As your new mayor, I hereby ban all bans. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, including the one on skateboards. Hmm. Right, but don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir, please hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No sudden moves, Nasha. <laughs> the Dennis Deluge Drencher Deluxe is almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> awarding myself a medal for excellent garden tidiness. Do you know what your stupid bugling just did to my new secret weapon? Foiling enemy experiments, eh? Think that deserves a medal too. So oh, haven't you got enough silly medals? Silly? I think not. Medals tell you all about a man and his deeds. And they're so shiny. <laughs> Finally, a chance to put Operation Blue Sky into action. Very hush hush. <laughs> Awarding ceremonies. So today we're gonna menace with the thing Colonel loves best. <gasps> you don't mean. That's right, Pie Face. We're gonna meddle with his medals. Curly, telescope. <laughs> hey, you put boot polish around the eyepiece, didn't you? <laughs> no way, Dennis. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, time to. Wow, what's happened to the Colonel's house? <laughs> What? <laughs> Mind out down there! What's the matter? Never seen a chap give his house a coat of camouflage before. Are you expecting an invasion or something? Uh, worse, I'm expecting a boar, a braggart, and a blowhard. A what, a what, and a what? Yeah, my best friend, Brigadier Withering Guff. Always trying to meddle with me, but my crafty camouflage will outfox the old fox. Outfox fox me, old boy? Uh, not likely. What? <laughs> nice try, but my camouflage is a bit more realistic. Uh, possibly a bit too realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Think the medal for outstanding camouflage goes to me, don't you? Hmm, well, I suppose. <laughs> That's one in the eye for you. <laughs> Cheer up, Colonel. Looks like you've been decorated after all. <laughs> Tour of inspection, Guffy? Hmm. More interested in all these medals you claim to have won, old boy. Well, this one is for successful moustache trimming. And this one's my medal for bravery in the face of extreme supper. Rations of curried prunes, sprouts, and rhubarb. Not bad, I suppose. Not exactly like proper medals, though, are they? Not like this one for wrestling escaped crocodiles, or this one for plugging erupting volcanoes. <laughs> Ah, spies! Whoa! Did you get a medal for wrestling a crocodile? Absolutely! Ugly brute, impressive teeth. Nearly as impressive as the chompers on that fine hound. Yes, yes. Well, how did you defeat the croc? Mm, it was touch and go. But eventually I cowled the beast with my overwhelming strength and impressive shouty voice. <laughs> That's nothing. This medal is for giving the kiss of life to a drowning fish. This is for boxing with a black belt kangaroo. This one's for taming a beetle with a banjo. This one's for taming a killer whale with a kazoo. Ha! Child's play. Man's game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got a brilliant idea. You two should have a contest, and the winner takes the medals from the loser. I accept the challenge. As do I. And we'll help you. I don't need any help from you. Mm -hmm. I, however, think you're just the sort of plucky chaps I could use on my team. Let the contest begin! Challenge one, restoring the Colonel's house to order. <laughs> yes, quite. Yes. Oh, cleaning paint off doesn't sound that much fun. Not even if it's testing my new Dennis Deluge Drencher Deluxe. What a bombs away! <laughs> 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 First medal to us! 
Making the parade ground orderly. Head cut. Presenting a perfectly pruned platoon of privets on parade. <laughs> Challenge three. Drilling the troops. Ha! Huh. Frontline in elf defense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought following orders would be this much fun. <laughs> Oh, at a parade? I'll take that one for sloppy parade performance. And that one, too. Bandage gnomes are a disgrace to the regiment, Colonel. Oh. Hey, Colonel, why don't we forget the stupid contest? It was only supposed to be a bit of fun. Uh, back down from a challenge? Never! I've one medal left. Enough for one last contest. You heard the man, lads? Wouldn't want to hurt his pride, would you? Well... OK. A race, then. Whoever can build and drive the fastest all-terrain vehicle across the lake wins. Morning, chaps. Just come to help. Oh, but we've just fin finished. Excellent work, troops. Looks like it's time to present the all-weather Guffy Goliath. <laughs> all set. Steady with those vital supplies, lads. There's a medal to be won. <laughs> is fit to wear these shiny beauties. Help! Help! Lady! It's the... You big phony! I thought you wrestled crocs and plugged volcanoes. Well, not personally, but I did give the orders. I've got medals for giving orders, you know. Wait! Where are you going? Come back! I order you to stop escaping and help me escape fast! Hold on, menaces! Never thought I'd say this, Colonel, but you're a hero, not like some people. Cowards! Traitors! Oh, mummy! Right, troops, time for Operation Rotter Rescue. Well, your vehicle did make it further than mine. The rules are rules. might be daft, Colonel, but you earned them fairly. So here are some that aren't silly for rescuing us. For not giving up, even when you are outnumbered. Huh? That's for not being a big cheat like blithering guff. Well, yes, I, I never... <laughs> Lads, right, Guffy. Consider our friendship decommissioned. I'm giving you your marching orders. Don't forget to pack your trunk. <laughs> I would have gotten all those medals, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. <laughs> Watch out, Guffy. His bite is worse than your bark. <laughs> 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 You can award yourself another medal, Colonel, if you can catch us. <laughs> Dennis!
Kings of Beano Town. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Am I dreaming? Ow! Nope. Oh, you were brilliant, Walter. Cool skateboard. Is that the Armageddon? Not just the Armageddon. This is the Armageddon Ultrasonic Demon. Series 4. What? Even my gran could do a triple somersault with that board. Really? You hear that, Walter? Denny says that even his gran could do a triple with your board. I bet she couldn't. I bet she could. How about if your gran pulls off the triple, then you're the skate king all summer and Walter's banned. If she doesn't, you're the skate king and Dennis is banned. You're on! <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. It's the third Saturday of the month. It's before lunch. That means. Morning, dears. Biscuits. Gran, Walter reckons you can't do a triple somersault on his skateboard. <laughs> this kingpin can still grind steel on the half pipe. Keep up, everybody! Right. Who wants to see a triple? Take a last look at the park, Walter. Only one of us is born to rule, and it's not you. OK, champ, get out there and knock him dead. <laughs> I've got nothing to fear. <laughs> Ultrasonic Demon has a remote steering unit. Isn't that a little like cheating? No, Dudley. It's a lot like cheating. You can do it, Gran. I know it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Can't look. Tell me when it's over, Paul. Your Majesty, 
Could I have a go on your cool board? Absolutely not. Now get down there with the other riffraff. Oh. How's your gran doing, Dennis? Oh, she's all back to normal. Ready for a fart attack. Yes. Yes. Fresh from the oven. It's real? Yes, dear. Coming in. Must get on with the dusting. You feeling all right, Gran? Oh, I am now, Dennis. What was I thinking? Skateboarding at my age? But you're the King Piper of the Harpin. No, hang on a minute. The pit pipe of the ting pong. Not anymore. We've got other ways to have fun. What do you mean, we? Me and the girls. Oh. Company. <laughs> Help! How? <laughs> Just like my Mr. Fussy Kiss. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It's because it's all in pieces, love. Oh. Curly, pie face, code red and black alert. Garden, now. No, oh, you've worked it out. Yes, I have. It's time for Plan D and G. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get my pranking, menacing, gross-out gran back? Ready! Nash, nash. Do you like my new ring, Betty? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> A drink, Patty. <laughs> Dennis, that was naughty and very, very <laughs> Stop knitting! What else have you got? Chewing gum chum. <laughs> Good one, Gran. Brilliant. <laughs> We're banned, remember? It's only because Walter used a remote control on the board. That's why your gran couldn't skate. <gasps> oh. I think I am old a rematch. Let's burn rubber, Thomas. <laughs> Oi! We demand a rematch! And why would I agree to that? Because if you don't, we'll show everyone how you cheated last time. Very well. I will generously allow Dennis's Gran another go at the triple somersault. Use my board, Gran. Oh, oh. Ready for the triple, Gran? I was born ready. Attention to 
post a delivery service article 49B, subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> 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 to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Walter, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash on, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? Yes. It's a prototype. Yes. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. Uh, uh, I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes uh, News. Uh, I told uh, the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. Hm. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. <laughs> Poor oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, oh. No! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Oh, 
cherries. Oh, oh that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're coming with me. Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <sighs> I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs-to-be-sorted pile. See ya! Wait! Wait! <laughs> Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, sir. Ready. There's a magazine called Magnet Monthly. I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk. <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> ah! 